Time is moving fast, but I can't go You keep trying to heal, but it don't show No one really knows how to carry on Carry on No, no, no Everybody Is as normal, missing someone Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Terry. Welcome back to my channel. So I really wanted to show you guys how I was able to achieve this super cute makeup look without any eyeshadow. So let's just jump right into this video. So for my final step in my skincare routine, I'm going to apply some sunscreen and this sunscreen is from La Roche-Posay and it's their Broad Spectrum Dry to Touch SPF 60 Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. I'm going to leave that to soak into my skin for about 15 to 20 minutes. But while we wait, if you're new to my channel, hi! Definitely consider hitting the subscribe button down below and also hit the bell icon that pops up right next to it. <laughs> so you never ever miss an upload from me. As you can see, I already did one eye off camera, but for this makeup look, I'm going to start off by priming my lid using my Tarte Shade Tape Concealer in the shade Sand. And I'm going to apply that concealer all over my lid and I'm going to pat the concealer in to blend it out using my Deluxe Crease Brush from Real Techniques. And with the excess product on my brush, I'm going to bring that underneath my eyes to serve as a color corrector. I've been dying to show you guys this technique ever since I found out about it. So as you can see, this is my Black Radiance Contour Palette in the shade Dark Deep. So this is the palette we are going to be working with. So I'm going to be picking the darkest shade, which is the contour shade. And I'm going to pack that color on the center of my lid to get my desired color intensity. And I'm really focusing that color. Once I'm satisfied with this, I'm going to go in with my sculpting shade from the same palette and I'm going to use that to blend out the edges of the contour shade we just applied. This is just to prevent anybody from being able to tell where the darker eyeshadow is. So it just creates that seamless transition all the way. Now, I really hope this makes sense. But if this is your first time, please feel free to go back and forth between the shades until you get the desired color payoff that you want. So next I'm going to pop on them lashes and these are my 25mm mink lashes. <laughs> I'm growing into them guys. I'm growing into them. And the glue that I use with these lashes, I don't really remember the name right now, but I'm going to leave it linked in my description box down below. I'm going to leave all the products that I'm using in this video linked in my description box down below. So please feel free to check out any of these products. But this lash glue is the best lash glue I have ever used for my lashes. It doesn't pop off either in the front or in the back. It stays put all day. I really love this lash glue and I'd highly, highly recommend it if you're on the market for a new lash glue. The only downside of it is that it's black in color, but I'm sure you can figure out a way to work around it. Next up, to prime my face, I'm going to be using one of my favorite primers and that's my e.l.f. Mineralized Skin Finish Primer. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face. Now I'm applying my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 450. Really been into using a blending sponge and this is my Real Techniques blending sponge and I've been really into using the blending sponge to blend out my foundation. It gives me so much of a seamless finish so my face looks so much more airbrushed if you get what I mean. Yeah. Got a kitty cat sleeping on my left side I don't even need to see you tonight Had me for a minute, expectations high But a fuck nigga can't keep up his So for highlights, I'm grabbing my Tarte Shade Tape Concealer in the shade Mahogany and I'm going to be applying it on areas of my face where light normally hits. That's on the bridge of my nose, underneath my eyes, my forehead, my T-zone, my chin, and a little on my cupid's bow as well. Today I'm going for a very, very everyday-ish look. So I'm going to use the other side of my blending sponge, the one that I just used. Why you trying to talk? Can't you see I'm tired? I don't need to hear you fucking testify. Always stay up late. 
I also opted for cream contour and now be using my black opal stick foundation in the shade black walnut and I'm using just a normal eyeshadow brush to make sure that um, my contour is a little bit more precise you can't tell me shit that's just what it is I pay my own bills and I'm fucking and then I'm going to contour my cheekbones as well for you know a more chiseled face effect Going back into my Black Radiance Contour Palette, I like to use a mixture of contour and sculpt to set my contour. I am not impressed, you make too much mess, yeah. to the next. Here I'm lightly setting my face using my, using my setting powder. And as you can see, I'm still using my Real Techniques Blending Sponge. Simply because it really helps to melt those powders into my face, especially using the side that I already used to apply my foundation. It just helps everything to disappear into your face. And it picks up all the excess powders as well. And for the areas that I didn't apply setting powder, I'm going to go in with my Nude Cosmetics Luminous Silk Finish Foundation Powder. So for brows, I didn't really do too much. I just filled them in slightly using my brow pencil. But guys, these brows need some TLC. <laughs> To lock everything in place, I'm setting my face using my MAC Prep and Prime setting spray and my Mario Badescu setting spray in rose water. Next, I'm going to apply highlighter on the high points of my face, a little on the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my cheekbones. Pack up your bags and tie your shoes. Go get to stepping cause I'm sick of you Said that you need me, it ain't nothing new Now I see how far you run from the truth You've been creep creeping what? Lastly, we're moving on to lips And I had a combination of my Cork by MAC lip liner And my Davis brow pencil And I used that to line my lips And then I went over with a clear lip gloss from Kiss Beauty I feel like I did too much, but I also went over top of that lip gloss with my Evita Joseph. But yeah, I really didn't want to do too much in this video. I didn't want it to be too long. But thank you guys so, so much for watching this video up to this point. And guys, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful in any way whatsoever. Give this video a big thumbs up so YouTube can recommend my videos to other people. So you would also be helpful helping somebody else in return <laughs> and i'll see you in my next video next week but until then bye